Whether you have a pending DUI charge, need to file for a restraining order, or have been assigned jury duty, you might find it helpful to know where the courthouse is located in Union County and not wait to the morning of court. After more than 30 years of helping people in the legal system, I found sometimes some of the most basic information and knowledge can really go a long way to help reduce the anxiety of going to court and handling your business there. So if you need to go to court in Union County, North Carolina, in Monroe, I hope you find this information helpful to you. As always, we'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to this channel. The Union County Courthouse is located at 400 North Main Street in Monroe, North Carolina. If you're Googling it, it's formerly known as the Union County Judicial Center, in part because the historic courthouse Monroe is nearby, and it's a bit easy to get the two confused. The main telephone number, as listed on the NC Judicial Branch website, is 704-698-3100. By the way, if you try calling that number, it'll go to the clerk of court for Union County. You can get more information about the courthouse and the court system by visiting nccourts.gov. I'll provide a link to that webpage as well as other links that may be helpful to you. I've traveled extensively throughout North Carolina, handling different types of legal matters, and I'm regularly asked things like, where's the best place to park? Am I allowed to bring my cell phone into the courthouse? Are there good places to eat around the courthouse? So whether you're a juror or a visiting judge or an attorney new to the jurisdiction or a client of ours, knowing that kind of information can really help. As a friendly reminder, it's really a good idea not to be late to court. Finding parking can take some time. And the courthouse facility in Monroe does have a security checkpoint with metal detectors and those x-ray machines, which can also take some time to clear, especially on busy mornings and afternoons of court. The courthouse in Monroe also can be a bit difficult to find. Don't get it confused with the Union County Historic Courthouse, which pound for pound is one of the most beautiful facilities in the state. And I recommend a visit there, if nothing else, to check out the library and historic late Victorian architecture. There are a fair number of one-way streets in Monroe and where you may end up may depend on whether you're using Waze or Apple Maps or some other direction app. Highway 74 seems to be the way most people like to come into town. If you're coming in from the east or the southern side of Monroe, most people take a left at the Atrium Health Union on the East Franklin Street. That'll take you to downtown Monroe. If you're coming from Charlotte, there are several different ways to get to the courthouse. I personally prefer taking the I-74 bypass the 601 and coming in that way. There tends to be less traffic, especially during peak rush hours, less red lights, and it's a nice drive. The next question is, where do I park? Well, I frankly like to find free parking when I travel to the different courthouses. I suspect that's probably the case for most people as unless you're a lawyer, no one really wants to go to court, let alone pay for the privilege to do so. Now, to be clear, roadside parking is available in Monroe. On the backside of the historic courthouse, it almost always tends to have some parking slots available. There are a few things to be aware of overall. One, parking is not always free. Read the signs. You don't want to get a ticket. Two, even free parking on the roadside may be subject to time limits, which can be a real hassle if you're sitting in the courtroom and can't leave for whatever reason. And three, if you overextend your stay, the parking people, the people watching the meters, if there are meters in that particular area, are very active in their enforcement. I've seen tickets being issued. Of course, that worry and concern can be avoided if you park in one of the public lots around the courthouse. Once again, that too can be a bit confusing in Monroe. I personally think the best place to park is at the corner of Crowell Street, the 300 block, and North Charlotte Avenue on the 500 block. No one seems to know about that lot. It's almost always open. Look for a big circular blue and green sign with a large white P at the center of it at the edge of the lot. It says parking and walk to shops. Not quite sure what shops they're talking about, but it's a really nice new sign and a good landmark to use. Once parked, you just cross the street and walk up Crowell Street, which takes you directly to the Union County Judicial Center. It's about a one block walk that is slightly uphill. That parking lot is completely free and I don't think is subject to any of the time of stay restrictions like many other places in Monroe. If you have a permit for parking due to some sort of physical limitation or an ADA need, there are one or two spots relatively close to the courthouse on the back side of the Union County Veterans Service Office at the corner of West Jefferson Street and North Stewart Street. I think they're a little hard to find and as you might imagine, given where they're located and who they serve, they tend to be pretty busy and used on a daily basis. 
As far as ADA accessible parking, I don't think Monroe is all that great. It's generally a bit hard to find. There aren't a lot of spaces available and even the spaces you do find tend to be a bit of a hassle or a hike to get to the courthouse. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know where you think there's other good parking. I'm more than willing to list that in the links below. The point is to help people to find good places to park and frankly, help people to get to court on time. As to the courthouse facility itself, it's relatively new. It has an easy to access ADA compliant entrance, unlike some other courthouse facilities in North Carolina, and the interior of the facility is both spacious and user-friendly with two elevators. As an important note, and I know I've said this before, but it bears mentioning, do not attempt to bring a weapon into the courthouse facility. That means even if you have a valid CCW permit or carrying a concealed weapon permit, don't enter the courthouse with a gun. That includes other things like knives, box cutters, pepper spray, and anything else that could be used as a weapon. Similarly, don't bring illegal substances, drug paraphernalia, things like that. And yes, you'd be surprised. Some people do that and end up getting arrested or cited. You may bring your cell phone into the courthouse facility in Monroe. That isn't true everywhere you go in North Carolina. Some courthouse facilities specifically do not allow bringing a cell phone into the courthouse unless you're an attorney with a proper bar ID or some other person specifically authorized to enter the facility with a cell phone, perhaps like law enforcement or other judicial officials. It's important to understand and Monroe court officials will likely give you a few warnings before court opens that if your cell phone goes off, they will seize it. I see it happen on a somewhat regular basis. Someone forgets to turn off their cell phone and by court order, the deputies seize the phone. Per the last instruction I heard this last Friday in court, the phone will be seized again by court order for about 24 hours. Generally speaking, you may not record the proceedings in court and just about anywhere in North Carolina. That means you shouldn't take pictures or record or live stream what people say or use the video feature on your phone at all when you're in the courthouse. It could subject you to contempt of court, which ordinarily allows for up to a 30 day jail sentence and or a $500 fine and or formal censure by the court, which is a type of public reprimand. The general rules of practice for the Superior and District Courts of North Carolina do allow for these types of restrictions and you can review them in the link below. My general thought on it is analyzing the North Carolina court rules is pretty simple. Just don't do it. Don't take a chance. Don't record or take pictures of the court proceedings or anyone else inside the courthouse or in the courtroom itself. Now, I know some people think that it's their constitutional right to record in public spaces and document what takes place, or they think it's part of their First Amendment rights. I remind anyone who may be watching this to consider a few things. One, there may be completely lawful restrictions on the exercise of the First Amendment and other constitutional rights. Two, and this includes traditional media sources, it's better to ask permission and not forgiveness. And three, don't shoot the messenger. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you what the rules of court are. So I hope this you find this information has been helpful to you. If you need legal advice in Monroe, North Carolina for a DWI, a divorce, or maybe bad car accident type of case, please give us a ring at 704-342-4357. And if you have suggestions for additional content that you think would be helpful, please let me know. You may reach me at bill at 342help.com. By the way, our telephone number is 704-342-HELP, which is 704-342-4357. Thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe to this channel.